Hey everybody, BaconM13 here. Thought I'd show you this project I've been working on. This is a redstone lamp sign on the side of a blimp. And it has a few neat little features to it that I thought you might be interested in. Um, I've rigged it up so certain parts of the sign will flicker at random intervals. Um, you may have noticed the L down there flicker, the top of the eye, and arrows are always a good one to look at and watch that flicker. Um, I've got it set up on a nighttime sensor so as it becomes day or if I just set it today uh, the sign should turn off in a moment. Um, there we go. No, no it's not off yet. Um, the way I set it up to turn itself on and off is by using test certificates. Um, they have this lovely mechanic that makes them want to uh, seek the indoors or an indoor space uh, when it becomes daytime or nighttime, excuse me. They do take a little bit of time to go in and out uh, to recognize that it's become nighttime. So it's not an instant night or daytime sensor. It does work pretty well though. Uh, at least it meets the criteria that I need for my sign. Um, so let me show you just a little bit about how this works. You can see the testificate here standing on his pressure plate inside of what he calls a house. Um, during the daytime, like some of these guys are, they're out wandering about. But when I change it to night, if I do that right here, uh, you'll see these guys just immediately take an interest in the house and away they go the inside of their lovely abode. There can be some issues sometimes where it takes a little bit of time for... Come on. Come on. Go inside. It's night time. Go inside! Thank you. Um, he doesn't want to close his door. Alright. So, now that they're all inside, they're standing on their pressure plates, and that's lighting up the sign. Um, all the test certificates have to be standing on their pressure plates for the sign to light up. If one of them is not standing on their pressure plates, um, the sign will uh, not light up. So, I think I said that backwards. So all the test certificates have to be standing on their pressure plates for the sign to be lit. Uh, if one decides to go outside in the middle of the night, uh, the sign will turn off. Um, so the pressure plates are above here. They're sending a signal down to this redstone. It's There's eight tracks because there's eight testificates and eight houses. Those eight houses are going to each side of an AND gate. Uh, those, and there's four AND gates. These four AND gates go to these two AND gates. These two AND gates get combined together into this one AND gate, which is the output signal. The output signal travels down here. The signal gets distributed to the left and to the right. Um, so we'll just follow this track here. It goes down here, travels down, and it sends it here to the bottom of the L, lighting up all these lovely glowstone lamps. Now if I break this right here, the section turns off, put it back, it all turns on. Um, and that brings me to my flashing unit. So, I had to come up with a way to make um, the blocks flash when it was dark and not flash when it was daytime. So I came up with using a inverter to make the circuit uh, dead or off through here and turned back on here. Uh, that allows the pulses from these mine carts, without using extra inverters, to um, send their signal down to these pulse limiters. And that in turn gets sent down to the, um, the lamps that are supposed to flicker. So, you can see the mine carts going around, the pulses being sent out, and they travel down to the lovely lamps, uh, applying that lovely flashing effect. Um, 
right here you can also see it it goes down here and it gets distributed off to the arrow and this section here goes up to the top of the eye I have these repeaters here to spread out the signals and give it more of a random effect um, another way I kept the monotony down is by giving each one of these tracks a different length um, you may notice that two tracks ha may have the same length but that's just because one of them has an extra set of spider webs. So the minecart goes around the track and it falls into the spider web. Um, each spider web has about a 30 second delay on a minecart. So if we were to sit here and watch this one, it takes about 30 seconds to fall through. Um, and then when it lands on the track, it goes on its merry little way. This one just so happens to go to a another spider web. And uh, we'll watch it just real quick. There you go, goes over its detectors, sends out its two pulses. I just have these here for um, extra delay if I so desired, and right now I do desire, desire some more delay. That should be good. These here are pulse limiters. The way these work is, pulse comes in, it travels through this block. Um, the piston also gets its signal pushes the block away so then you have an air gap here and the redstone signal can't travel across that gap and uh, that's eliminating the signal from traveling across <clears throat> so once the signal goes down here it gets changed back into a um, an on state using this inverter again and that's powering this um, this is something pretty simple, although it does require a bit of computer power to push all the shadow generation that um, this likes to do. Um, when it becomes day, no big deal. When it turns night and all of these lamps decide to turn on, um, there's quite a bit of lag. You may have noticed all the other repeaters in there. I'm using that to help spread out the load so it's not all at once. Well guys, this about does it for the end of my video. If you could like or leave a uh, comment, subscribe always helps too. I will see you guys next time.